Panning, velocity, and automation are the three things that make your drums better. And that's the whole video. What's up everybody, Chris Punsalon here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you three different tips that help me make better drums. And a quick disclaimer before we get this video started. Number one, this is solely my opinion. There is no right or wrong way to do this. And number two, you don't have to do any of these things to have interesting drums. These are just some things that have helped me. Now that we have that out the way, Let's do this. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is panning, and panning is super useful when you're trying to make space within the mix or if you're just trying to make sounds sound wider. So for this example, I'm gonna use a drum loop I made called Congress. So before panning, uh, this is what the snare sounds like. So to make them sound wider, what I'll do is I'll throw in two of the same snares uh, so I have this one, and then I'm gonna pan this one all the way to the left, and then transpose this up two, and then I'm gonna pan this one all the way to the right, and transpose this one negative two. And now when you listen to the layered snares, it sounds a lot wider. And this can go for any instrument that you wanna make sound wide. If you wanna make your hi-hat sound wider, just do the same technique. So now I'm gonna show you how I created space in the drum loop by panning. So this is what the conga and hi-hat sound like before you pan them. Now I'm gonna pan uh, the hi-hats to the left, and I'm gonna pan the congas to the right, and now this is what they sound like. And this is what they sound like within the drum loop. Next we have another drum loop I made called Pops. In this one I'm gonna show you how velocity and nudging can give your drums more of a human feel. All right, so this is what the hi-hats sound like before I nudge them and change the velocity. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the velocity of these. I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna select this, this, turn it down, do this, turn it down, this, 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 turn it down, and this, this, and this, turn it down. Okay, and then now I'm gonna nudge them, so I'm gonna select all. I'm gonna turn off my grid because I don't want it snapping to anything on the grid. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm going to nudge them to the right. You can do this as much as you want. I'm just gonna do it to right about there. And this is what they sound like after nudging them and changing the velocity. And in my opinion, it gives it more of a bounce and it just sounds more interesting. All right, the last thing I'm gonna talk about is using automation in your beats. Now this kind of applies to the panning uh, portion that I was talking about. But, um, okay, so I have another drum loop that I made called Checks. Okay, so I have a few things that um, have some automation pan on it. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is this FX sound that I have. Let me show you what it sounds like by itself. So really subtle, it's going from right to left. Um, this is what it sounds like if I don't pan it. So to automate the panning on this, I'm just gonna turn this guy on right here, and then this, uh, change this to mixer, and then change this to track panning, and then I'm gonna click right here, and then I'm gonna click another one at the end of this, and then just drag it down. And now, we have this sound going from right to left. And then the next thing I automated was the trap hats right here. Um, I have this roll going from left to right. Now, to do this, again, you're just gonna press this right here, change this to mixer, change this to track panning, and then you're gonna see this, this bar right here, and wherever you want your automation pan to happen, you're just gonna click right here, and then you're gonna click to the end point of it, and then change it from left to right. And if you don't want the next hi-hat being affected, you're just gonna take this, and then move it to the center there, and there you go. So this is what the drum loop sounds like before all the automation.
And that is going to conclude today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, please hit that thumbs up button. If you wanna see more, go ahead and hit subscribe down below. All the drum loops that I showed you in today's video are a part of the Vivid Sample slash Drum Loop Pack. 20 samples, 20 drum loops, all the MIDI files and stems included. Link in the description for that and also in the pinned comment or you can head to chrispunsalon.com. Question of the day, what do you do to make your drums more interesting? Let me know in the comments below and um, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for paying attention. Please pay your producers and I'll see you guys in the next video.